Lesson 3.6, Subtraction Facts. We can find or remember differences by using a related addition fact, count back, count on, or use counters. Here we have 8 minus 2. We think of the related addition fact 2 plus 6 is equal to 8. The answer, the difference, must be 6. We can start at 8 and count back to 7, then 6. We counted back this 2. It brought us to 6. The difference must be 6. Remember, a difference is a subtraction answer, and count on is the same as count up. So we can start at 2 and count up to 8, and we'll count up 6 times. The answer will be 6. We can write the addition fact 5 plus 4 is equal to 9 for this model. And the number of counters in the circle and the number of counters outside the circle show the parts, the add-ends. And the total number of counters is the whole. It's the sum. And remember, this number is the minuend. We're taking away the subtrahend, and the answer is the difference. So there are different ways to find differences. We have 8 minus 2. We can use counters, or we could start at 8 and say 7, 6, counting back. We count back two numbers to get 6. We could think of a related addition fact. 2 plus 6 is equal to 8. We must need to put a 6 there. We could also start at 2 and say 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, counting on to 8 to get a 6. We counted on 6 numbers. But be careful. Don't lose count. You might have to do it twice to be absolutely sure you've got the right amount, the right answer. So we can count back or count on, which is the same as counting up. So if we have 8 minus 3, we can count back this 3. We start at 8 and say 7, 6, 5. We counted back three numbers and we landed on 5. So the answer must be 5. We can also count on from 3. We'll start here and say 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That was five numbers to get to 8. The difference must be 5. Because addition and subtraction are related, we can easily start with the subtrahend right here and count up to find a difference. We start with 9, and we say 10, 11. We needed 2 to get to 11, so the difference must be 2. And some students may find that counting up from the subtrahend is quicker than counting back. So let's practice some of these. Here we have 15 minus 7. We can start with 7 and count up to 15. That's going to be a lot of counting. We could also start at 15 and count back 7. We can also use counters. We can put 15 dots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And another 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we can cross out 7. We cross out 5, 6, and 7. That leaves 5, 6, 7, 8. That means the difference is 8. For this one, we could even think of a related addition fact. 6 plus what number equals 10? We could also start at the subtrahend 6 and count up to 10. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 4. And 6 plus 4 is equal to 10. For this one, we can start at the 8 and count up to the 13. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's 5. And 5 plus 8 is equal to 13. Here we have 17 minus 9. We can start at the 9 and count up to 17. That's going to be a lot of counting. We might lose track, but we could also think of a related addition sentence. 
9 plus some number is equal to 17. Do you know what that could be? 9 plus 8 is equal to 17. Our missing difference must be 8. Here, we need to write the differences, then write the next fact in the pattern. We think we can compare how the numbers change. It, starting with 10 minus 2, then 10 minus 4, then 10 minus 6. Can you see a pattern here? These are all even numbers, 2, 4, 6. They're skip counting by 2s. They all start with a 10 as the minuend, so the minuend must be a 10. And they're skipping by 2s. The next number in the pattern for the subtrahend must be an 8. We can solve starting at the bottom or at the top to finish the pattern. We can start with 10 minus 8. We can say 8, 9, 10, that's 2. And this must be two more. 10 minus six must be four. And 10 minus four must be six. Look at, same numbers, a four, a six, and a 10, a four, a six, and a 10. Do you see what the differences are doing? Two, four, six. This must be an eight. Do you see the pattern? As these are increasing as the subtrahend increases by 2, the differences are decreasing by 2. What about this one? Can we find a pattern here? The minuends are going up by 1, 12, 13, 14. So what do you think that one could be? If you said 15, you're right. And look what the subtrahend is doing. It's a 6, it's a 6, it's a 6. That must be a 6. 12 minus 6, we can think of a related addition doubles fact. 6 plus 6 is equal to 12. So this difference must be a 6. 13 minus 6, we can start at 6 and count up to 13. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, that's 5, 12, 13. We had to count up 7 to get to 13. Our difference went up by 1 as the minuend went up by 1. What do you think is going to happen here? Our minuend went up 1 more. The difference must go up by 1 more. We can check it with counters. We can make 14 dots and cross off 6 of them. That leaves 8. So yes, we got it right. So now we see the minuend is going up by 1. The subtrahend staying the same. And our difference is going up by 1, 6, 7, 8. So do you know what that might be? If you said 9, you're right. When the facts are very close to each other, we can see a pattern. Here it's telling us we need to solve these using a related addition fact. We've got some number is equal to 12 minus 8. So if some number is equal to 12 minus 8, we can think some number plus 8 is equal to 12. If you said 4, you're right. 4 plus 8 is equal to 12, so 4 is equal to 12 minus 8. What about this one? Some number is equal to 14 minus 9. We think of a related addition fact, some number plus 9 is equal to 14. Do you know what it is? If you said 5, you're right. 5 plus 9 is equal to 14, so 5 is equal to 14 minus 9. What about this one? 10 minus 7 is equal to some number. And we can think some number plus 7 is equal to 10. Do you know what it is? If you said 3, you're right. Here we have 18 minus 9 is equal to some number. When we think of the related addition fact, some number plus 9 is equal to 18. Do you remember your doubles facts? 
If you said 9 plus 9 is equal to 18, you're right. So 18 minus 9 must equal 9. So we can quickly use a related addition fact to solve a subtraction fact. Miss Cho bought nine markers and 16 pencils. How many more pencils did she buy than markers? So we think we need to find the difference between the number of pencils and markers. And we can circle the important information. It's important that there were nine markers and 16 pencils. And to find the difference, difference tells us to subtract. We need to find the difference between these two numbers. We can put the 16 here as the minuend, and we can put the 9 here as the subtrahend. Now we need to find the difference. We can start at 9 and count on 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I lost count. That was too many fingers. Let's try some Related addition facts. How about some number plus 9 is equal to 16? Or we could use counters. We could do 16 counters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Let's take away 9 of them. We can take away these 9. We could take away any 9 we want. That's going to leave 1. From that 10, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 16 minus 9 is equal to 7. That means she's got 7 more pencils. So we can solve a subtraction fact whichever way we think will work or what is easiest. We can use a related addition sentence. We can count back or count on. We can use counters. Whatever will help us find the difference. This word problem says, Tala bought 12 cupcakes. She gave seven away and ate one. How many cupcakes are left? So we think we first need to find how many are gone. Seven were given away and she ate one. So seven were given away plus one was eaten. That's gonna equal how many were gone. And seven plus one is eight, so eight are gone. So we need to find the difference between the 12 cupcakes she started with and the 8 that are gone. 12 minus 8 is equal to how many cupcakes are left. And we can think of the related addition fact, 8 plus some number is equal to 12. We can start at 8 and count on to 12. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's 4. So the difference must be four cupcakes are left. We need to have the addition and subtraction facts to 20 memorized before the end of second grade. You have to really know these before third grade starts because then you'll be working on remembering multiplication. We need to know the addition and subtraction facts to 20 as quickly as we know one plus one equals two. We have to know them that fast. So maybe you can start working on them, playing games or using flashcards or something to start remembering those facts. Our next lesson, 3.7, we're going to use 10 to subtract. I hope I'll see you there. Keep trying hard. I'm proud of you. Bye.